Pastor. Well, nice. you are clearly alright. It's Friday here on your field of your breakfast show. Espresso. Okay, dude, you know what? We need a fire. We do need a well, fire. Need I'm going to show you how we got to that beautiful little fire over there before I put you to work. We've, of course, got our big fire lighting little pack here. I've got my very safe fire lighter after my fire <laughs> men's experience out on the balcony last week. They thought I deserved a, a safe fire lighting option. Perfect. Now, you know with Bic, you can get your 24 individually cut briquettes or you can get your 16 individually wrapped, and that's what I'm going to use in this case. And we're going to put it to the test under, well, I'm not going to say gale force winds, no, but it's windy. pretty strong right. winds. And the nice thing is all you need is one of these guys. You don't even have to unwrap it. It is odorless. And all you've got to do is jam it into your coals, use your big fire lighter, light the packet around it, and it is nice. on its way. And I'm going to cover that with some charcoal. I prefer using charcoal to briquettes. Um, I just like the burn, especially... Dude, charcoal is legendary. When yes. you're looking for the smoky flavor from the snook. What are we That's making a, today, dude, sir? this is the thing. I mean, when was the last time you had a snook fry? Oh, dude, hey? I cannot actually remember. Well, it's been a long winter as well. It's been a long winter, but I mean, we're making this gorgeous snook this morning. Now, this is a recipe from one of Bic's Facebook fans, okay? Look so what that. Bic has done is like, they asked their fans to post some of their bright tips and tricks and also recipes, and then we're gonna make them here on the show. So this recipe is courtesy of Dawn Wallenkamp. Good morning, Dawn. Well Thank done, you so Dawn. much for your recipe. I hope you've your got recipe. the whole family sitting and watching your success story, right, Chef? Exactly. So, so if you would like us to make your recipe right on the show, go and like the Bic Facebook page, share your tips and tricks, and also post your recipes right there. Right, let's get okay, into let's cooking. Jump in. So, so what we now got? know this is sassy, first of all, hey? This Green is a listen. safe yeah. fish to eat, and we have it in a ready supply yeah. here in the Cape Snook. It's one of our, our favorite Cape Town delicacies. Oh, dude, it is mm. amazing. If you can make this right, all right, it is absolutely incredible. So what I'm going to do first, okay, right. I'm going to take some garlic, all right? I'm going to rub it on. I'm going to use my hands. I going to say some garlic, a lot of garlic. No, you need a lot of garlic. Uh, and right. when dealing with an open flame, you know a lot of that is going to oh. be burnt off, but you want those flavors to infuse, That's so it. get it in there. Do Perfect. not hold back on the garlic, certainly. All right, and then a little bit of salt. Okay. Oh, very nice. Goes in there as well. Perfect. And I like the, the nice dark meat. And it's a relatively easy fish to fill it as well. You've got yeah. big bones. Um, I like the fact we were talking earlier, this is the kind of fish that you can just get in there with your hands. You know? And it's a social fish because you all get there. You get with the Exactly. It's a social fish. <laughs> Even in the water, it's a social fish. You know? It Indeed. in large groups. Right. Garlic, salt, pepper, simple. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my grid. Very nice. Thank you so much for making my fire a little bit early on. Oh, it's a pleasure, man. It also gives you it's a pretty sizable fillet exactly. to cook with as well, man. Look at that. All right. So the thing is with when you make snook, you, know, you do not want a hot fire. It needs to be kind of medium coal, right? You don't so want you to dry your fish out. You can as well. That's yeah. the thing. Now, in the meantime, what you want to do is, while I put the skin side mm. down, what I've got here, I've got some jam, some apricot jam. Oh, nice, All right, So what you'll do that, you pop that into a little pan, and then some butter, good old butter, just yeah. like this. That's so what you will do effect. is... You've got to have the banting That's addition it. to the sauce. Come now, come now. That's it. You're going to melt that together, and at the end of the day, you're going to come with a nice little sticky paste, like this Ooh, one. All right, no, look at that. That is a marinade. All right, now this is a marinade, and, and, and this is the magic, all right? This is the absolute magic that's going to make our snook absolutely amazing. All right, so I'm going to take this guy out and put it there. So all what right. I'm going to do now, so after it's been going for a little while, it's not long, I mean, like I said, you don't want to dry out your snook. Yeah, definitely. Right. Now I'm going to brush that this one. watering. Oh, look, dude, let me tell you, this is going to be absolutely incredible. This is going to form like a, almost like a caramel top. Oh, I love that. It's going to caramelize nice. And we know it. that's snook, but being that darker fish, having that's that darker it. meat, it really does lend itself to a, um, a, a, a sweet or a sweet and sour, that spiciness. We know yes. we use it in a lot of um, sweet dishes as well here in the Cape. Oh, dude, layer it on. Don't hold back, sir. Dude, I am going for it. <laughs> I am going for it. So you want to make sure that you cover it nicely. Okay. Very good. And what I'm going to do then, after it's been going on the skin side a little bit, so what will happen, this little marinade of us will like soak into the fish. Oh, listen oh, to that sizzle nice. already. All right, is it mouth-watching already? It is. Yeah. It's smelling amazing, and I love the fact that we're going to get that smokiness as well. That's Very it. good job. So I'm going to turn this guy around. So if you would like to have Dawn's recipe for the snook, all right, all you need to do is SMS the keyword BIC to 33728. We'll send you everything to your phone. Those SMSs cost one rand fifty, but that'll put you in line to win a fantastic hamper as well. Mm, and now this hamper is designed to help you on your way for Friday, Friday. We, of course, have a fire lighting kit. I'm going to move over to our little pack here. Of course, you get your 24 individually cut, your 16 individually wrapped fire lighters, and I've shown you how easy to use. You get your awesome safe fire lighter itself, a BIC apron, the best part of this from my perspective, officially signed by the big ambassador, the beast and Twararida, you get yourself a rugby ball and a rugby t-shirt. All you've got to do is SMS the keyword BIC to 33728. Indeed. Can you, can you see what's happening here? Can you see it? We've got smoke, we've got fire, we've got snook. It's going to be absolutely mouth-wateringly amazing. Okay, cool. So if you want to see exactly how we got to this point, here's your chance. Oh, look how it's expanding with Cut joy. dry, then season with salt and pepper. Rub with garlic, then cook over medium heat.
Melt together butter and apricot jam. Turn fish, then baste with buttery jam. Continue to cook the fish whilst basting. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword BIC to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. Absolutely mouth-watering, the delicious. That oh, keyword, once again, done. BIC to 33728 will send you everything you need to know straight to your phone. We'll add a link on there that you can go follow as well. It's made to cost one rand fifty, but you also put you in line to win a fantastic big hamper. Yeah, that awesome cool. hamper with your fire lighting kit and, of course, that apron, the side ball yeah. by the beast and Twararia, the exactly. official big ambassador and a rugby t-shirt. So that's it. I mean, our mm. snook is, like, almost done. You just want to wait for that caramelization to take place. You can see the Whoa. marinade is melting nicely on it. So I'm going to leave it there. But, I mean, then you take it out. It'll come out looking like this. Serve it with some roast uh, sweet potato that you've done in the fire as well. Just wrap it in foil that you can roast a little bit. And, so and a lovely, up. Oh. crunchy side salad. Healthy dish, people. Healthy I made, dish. I made the salad. Dawn, I'm not thank afraid you very to much, admit eh? that I'm a salad maker. Dawn, thank you. You've outdone yourself. All right, we've got a jam-packed show. I can see Cameron and Donna and two awesome young dancers <laughs> warming up in the background. Ilana, what is coming up on the show? Bic, ultimate fire starting solutions.